Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Freddy Vlogs. So today we have another League of Ireland News Weekly video. So let's get straight into this one. Earlier in the week we had the Extra.ie FAI Cup second round draw. Um, UCD will play Sligo Rovers. Bray Wanderers will entertain Finn Harps. At Daily Man Park, Bohemians will take on League Leaders, First Division League Leaders, Cabin Teeley. Shamrock Rovers will host Cork City. Draw the United take on Derry City. At Lone Town, welcome Wexford FC. Cove Ramblers, welcome Dundalk. And Shelburne will have to travel to Amen DC Park to take on Galway United. There's only one all, only one all Premier Division tie, actually, and that's Shamrock Rovers against Cork City. Um, there's bound to be a surprise or two, I think. Um, you're looking at, you know, UCD could take Sligo, Drogheda could take Derry. Uh, you just don't know um, what's going to happen in these fixtures because results are generally up and down teams are generally lacking consistency i think it's to do with a lot of the short turnaround as well um look it's an interesting draw now some great news for sligo rovers uh the bit of red defender john mahan resumed first team training during the week he obviously got a bad injury ahead of the 2020 season um so it's a welcome sight as you can see there's a picture from there as well so it's great to see him back in train, very good defender, one of the best young defenders in the league, so fantastic stuff there. Then the last few days, uh, there's been a few signings for a couple of clubs in the first division. Wexford FC have welcomed Jack Larkin to the club. The 20 year old midfielder joins Wexford FC from Waterford FC. So, uh, Wexford have been doing a lot of business lately, and um, Jack is sure to be another addition to their squad. Uh, yesterday, I believe it was on Saturday, Cabin Teeley. And that's the sign of Stephen Kinsella, the 21 year old, previously played for Dundalk and St. Patrick's Athletic. He also played for the Everton under 23s. Um, they've also secured the signature of a uh, 20 year old midfielder, Jack Connolly, who previously played for Sunderland. Uh, Connolly had spent a no number of weeks in trial with Warford FC and Drotted at United. So that's a good coup for Cabin Teeley. Cabin Teeley are top of the first division. And. Um, it looks like they're trying to strike while the iron's hot and bring in a few players that they feel can make a difference. If they can make a difference, it could be a good boost for them um, coming up to the end of the season. So uh, transfers are starting to wind down a little bit and um, they could be good additions, I think, for Cavan Teeley. And finally, I talked about the John Sheridan incident in another video. I'll leave uh, the link at the end of the video if you want to check that out. But... Uh, Shelburne FC securing a point in the pub league. Fair play to them. <laughs> now, guys, that's about it for League of Ireland News Weekly. Uh, upcoming, we have, obviously, the review show on Monday. So we'll be reviewing the weekend's action on Monday. And uh, so far, it hasn't gone very well, the predictions for us. So, uh, yeah, look, it's a good laugh. So uh, like, subscribe. Um, and click the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. So, guys, I'll see you later. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.